Good evening. Good evening. Let's do. Could you please uh, describe us? Yes, we had, uh, as you know, a meeting which uh, took quite some time. I think uh, that uh, the outcome of the meeting was uh, positive. We are not there yet. Uh, we have, as you know, sent some uh, comments to this draft uh, law on the 10th of April. We've learned today that after the different discussions in the Parliament, some amendments to this law have been made or will be made in order to take into account, amongst other comments, of course, the comments that we have made. For us it is absolutely essential that the uh, self-governance or the autonomy of the Federation is uh, protected. This is a European principle. The Council of Europe, the European Commission have all approved this as a matter of specificity of sport. So this is essential and we will not accept a law which puts into question the self-governance and the autonomy of the Greek Football Association. Now, we have been assured that uh, changes will be made to this law in order to accommodate these concerns because the priority of this law in any case is not to take away from the Greek Football Federation the possibility to run itself, but it's to fight against violence, to fight against match fixing, which are the main problems that Greek football has to tackle today. And in order to do this, we have to make sure that this law and any future law will be done in a correct way. So concretely, uh, at the end of this meeting, we will uh, now receive uh, the new text of the law, which will go to the Parliament next week, uh, I think on the 7th of May, for, uh, for a vote. Uh, and uh, it has been postponed, I understand. Uh, anyway, uh, whatever we should receive it today or tomorrow, we will give immediately our, our final comments to it. And then hopefully we can agree on, on a text which uh, will help solve uh, and tackle and solve the issues of great football. Mr. Infantino, when you say that you're expecting more, uh, what are the sticking points that you mean? What do you want to see from the Greek side to make you yeah, satisfied? Well, I think we gave, uh, we made some comments which, even, uh, which are being published on the website, I understand, of the, of the uh, Greek government. Uh, so everything is, is clear in terms of uh, the independence of the associations which must be uh, always guaranteed and uh, cannot be put into question. This is a fundamental article for us uh, and the consequence of this being violated would have been, uh, and I use would have been not would be, because I'm confident it would have been the exclusion and the suspension of the Greek Football Association. I think we will not get there from the positive feedback I got now at this meeting. So I think we'll get there. We'll just have to fine tune a little bit the different different elements. What, what is the main the main point of disagreement? Could you tell us with with, uh, with the government? But there, well, there are no disagreements. There are, I mean, proposals and uh, uh, and discussions about the content of uh, of uh, some of these. Uh, some of these rules on, on, the articles on, 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 on some of the art on, on some of the articles of the of the new law about the composition of the bodies, about the different sanctions, about who can sanction what. And it's obvious for us, for example, that sporting bodies can take sporting sanctions and uh, government bodies have to take government or criminal for example sanctions. So if somebody if you want to tackle violence, you have to spot those people who are violent, to take them out of the stadium, to put them in jail and to give them a stadium ban for the rest of their life and then you will have tackled the violence. It's easier to be said than to be done, uh, but this is clearly something, a question of public security which the government has to deal with and which is not for the football organizations to deal with, the football organizations will, will deal with the disciplinary uh, consequences of any action which, uh, which is. It might be fair to say that the football authorities here have not dealt with the violence and corruption, so isn't it fair for the government to step in and try and do something? Well, everyone has a role. Everyone has a role. I, I don't agree with you that uh, the Greek FA has not dealt with, with these things because sanctions have been taken. Now the question is, are the sanctions enough? Should the Greek FA as well change maybe something in their disciplinary uh, procedure? But everyone has his own responsibilities. Uh, Violence is first and foremost 
a public order question. Match fixing is a criminal question before being a sport question. So once you have convicted with even an example here in Greece with a few years ago for the Piakos Volos, which was where UEFA cooperated with the prosecutor, and as a consequence, uh, there were criminal sanctions, but there were also sporting disciplinary sanctions. I think as long as we can cooperate in these uh, in these matters and go hand in hand, we can solve issues. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you.